Hello everyone, my name is Hade Gupta and I would like to start by first thanking the Global Forum for giving me this opportunity and this stage. Uh, I'm quite nervous but yes, this, this is the biggest stage that I've ever gotten to speak on and I would love to make the best out of it. Um, so the project that I'm going to talk about is the Giving Chain. Uh, as I've said, my name is Hade Gupta, I'm currently working as a blockchain developer at InstaRays. I'm also the uh, project or the technical lead at the Giving Chain. Mm. So I've divided this whole presentation into four parts. It's going to be the introduction at first. Then I'm going to talk about the uh, giving chain in 2019 that we did, um, the project that we did, did in 2021, and what are we planning ahead. For the introduction, uh, the whole aim behind the giving chain was to bring and uh, make this agile model uh, and to bring transparency in the whole charity system. Also, you can see the uh, picture that's there. This was an NFT created by one of our um, members, uh, the team members, Madhu, who like also a project team member, Madhu Bhatia. She won this GBA award in 2021 uh, for this NFT under the um, uh, social impact category. So uh, um, the team members are Bobby. She started this project in 2019. She's also a TSC member. Then there's me, uh, Madhu. Madhu is uh, pursuing her PhD from India. Then there's Mona, like a technical genius. She is the one who has made the whole technical back, uh, the background, the whole backbone of it. Then finally, we have the Benjamin. Benjamin joined us this year. And uh, like we, like also the whole Firefly team, because they helped us like tremendously throughout the 2019, sorry, 2021. Okay, so I will. So I'm going to talk about the project in 2019 in three verticals. Uh, these three verticals have been divided, uh, and you can see throughout the whole project that we have used these three verticals or the three pillars uh, for making a business model. We have kept the same business model since 2019. So Bobby, uh, with her Princeton group, started this project. Um, so let's talk about all of these verticals. So the first one is the collection. She uh, she asked a local gym and the people from uh, all over our friend circle to start collecting these goods. You can also see these bags. These bags were known as the giving bags. We were using these to distribute all the goods uh, throughout the supply chain. But the problem that we faced in 2019 was that the IoT devices can be used because these bags, they have those tags which will be removed from those bags every time it moved from one vertical to another. So, so it had a total of three tags and each one was removed at a particular point. But uh, we came to realize that in 2021 that these IoT devices or anything that relates to hardware or something or even so, such expenses can't make a good project. So the second vertical is the transportation. Those people are uh, the volunteers, the drivers who help us uh, get all the donation from the donors to the recipients. And finally, the third vertical is the delivery. She, she did all of this in a single day with her friends, the Princeton group, her sister, um, to get the food from her location and the or the gym to the final destination that's in NGO. So in 2021, uh, I was selected as a mentee under Bobby Mascara. She won the GBA awards under the social impact uh, projects in 2020, and this led the whole project to be in the mentorship uh, program. Uh, so after discussing about the checkpoints, uh, we came up with six checkpoints. I'm going to talk about all of these checkpoints one by one. The first checkpoint was to uh, see what's the aim of the whole project, what, what is the problem statement that we need to solve. So after uh, having these great discussions, we came to know that we can uh, divide the whole projects into three, um, like three sections, because we were three members at that time. We also came to know that we need project managers. I will be talking about project managers later in the presentation, but there were three members and we took up a project each and we tried building something out of it. So the first project was the Giving Chain Princeton, uh, also done by Bobby. So she became the project manager for the Giving Chain Princeton. And again, we were planning on doing the same project, but without these bags. Um, these pictures can be, uh, like, which you see here are from 2019. I started the project, the Giving Chain India Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand is the, so I'm going to talk about Uttarakhand and the problem statement later in the presentation. But um, it is one of the northern, um, parts of the India, most of the holy rivers originate from India. I'm going to talk about the floods and my problem statement that I wanted to solve was that people who have been suffering from the overflowing of rivers. And finally, uh, there was the giving chain India woman started by Madhu and executed very well by her. So we were uh, planning on solving the problem statement of women's not uh, getting the rights of 
uh, even the basic um, sanitary napkins or the things that they require. Um, okay, so for the giving chain, Uttarakhand, I like I saw the problem statement in my state that uh, people have been suffering throughout the whole monsoon season because of the floods, the overflowing of these rivers. Because these are the Uttarakhand, as I've said, is one of the holiest places that you can find in India. It sits on the lap of Uttarakhand, sorry, uh, lap of Himalayas. Uh, most of the uh, holiest rivers in India originate from Uttarakhand because of the glaciers, the Alaknanda, the Gangas, the um, Bhagirathi, when, uh, also the four most hol holiest place, uh, the temples in India can be found in Uttarakhand. So a lot of tourists, a lot of people have, um, you know, set up their villages or have started living around these rivers. And when it start overflowing, all the land, all the basic rats have been um, destroyed by that. As you can see, one of the pictures also, like I have all of these pictures, the ITBP is the Indian Tibetan police, which helps uh, clean all the aftermaths of those uh, disasters. We are um, like not just the people from Uttarakhand, but this this problem has been there for all over the globe, where, the, where they have been glaciers. Because for example, in Pakistan, uh, around 30% of the land has been destroyed due to the um, global warming and the um, overflowing of rivers around um, like a 10 billion dollars uh, 10 billion dollars have been lost due to um, this overflowing of rivers there so let me talk about the giving chain india mother started this project uh, the whole idea was to provide india or not just women from the india but like all over the globe the right to sanitary napkins because uh, like according to the stats from 2021 around 68 percent of women have like found it difficult to buy uh, sanitary napkins or it's the 28 percent of women like from the whole over the glo globe has said that these things are very expensive there are many countries still in the world who charge taxes on these uh, basic needs so yes a problem statement that we saw and we have worked on solving this because uh, using those cloths have like it's not very hygienic has caused many health issues and Yes, something that we wanted to sell, uh, solve. For the project managers, we came to realize that uh, all of these business, business ideas, all of these different projects have very uh, different models in it. So we wanted uh, someone to administrate or uh, make the whole project according to themselves. So that's why we introduced the project managers in the whole idea. The, what the project managers do is that they uh, plan the whole business model. They uh, mold it according to their project. They in, in, introduce all the people that are required to solve this in the giving chain. For the checkpoint two, we started working on the business model or the business flow of the project. Uh, again, that we have kept it same since 2019. We have three verticals. The first is the donor. The donor can be individuals, can be people, uh, can be farmers, can be people who want to donate anything, any physical goods. Then came the drivers and the volunteers. It can be a single entity and can be more, uh, more than one. These are the people who uh, these are the people who uh, help us um, transfer the donations from the donors to the recipients. And finally, the recipients recipients can be NGOs, food banks, um, social, like like people who have been uh, working to help on the like. On the ground. In checkpoint three, we started working on the technical model of our project. So we have these roles. I have uh, like explained all of these roles, but uh, we, we 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 wanted to create this model in which uh, you all can see how the like the technical model will work. So the project managers don't have their user interface, but they they were required to register because. Uh, they will be administrating the whole process. Their work will be to register the donors, the, trans, uh, the transporters, and the recipients to the system without any faults. Finally, we wanted the interface of donors to look something like this. We, we would ask for the username. We will ask for the metadata that, that would uh, contain all the names, the location, the description of the donation. And finally, we will take an image of that donation. This image uh, combined with the metadata will be created into an NFT, which defines the ownership of the donation. Let's say if I have to um, give a sweater to someone. So as soon as I kick the picture off and put the metadata, the NFT will be created and it will be in my account. I won't know about this account because all of this will be happening will, will be happening in the back end. But the um, donation will be on my account, stating that the ownership of the sweater is with me. So I own the sweater. 
uh, as soon as the NFT is created, a message will be broadcasted throughout the network to all the volunteers. Anyone can just uh, accept to pick up the donation from my place. As soon as the donation is picked up, the NFT will be transferred to his, his account, stating that the ownership of the uh, donation is now with the volunteer. Um, that person can, like anyone can accept for uh, picking up the donation. And as soon as the donation is um, like, like reached to the recipient, again, the same thing will happen. The, NFT would be transferred from uh, the volunteer to the recipient, stating that the ownership of the donation is now with the recipient, completing our whole supply chain without IoT devices. This is something that Mona and the whole Firefly team has worked tremendously on. Has um, like you know we we had gone through like so many ideas from scanning QR codes to even um, like talking about applying different physical solutions, but nothing worked. Finally, this was something that we have. Uh, finalized and we are still planning on using it but like everyone is free to just you know if you see something like wrong in it please advise us and we may fix it this uh, for the fourth was the impact measurement so we did a test run uh, all like the two of the projects did a test run the one in the Princeton and um, the, um, the giving chain India but I'm gonna show you about the giving chain India test run that that happened in August 29th uh, done by Madhu so um, she started by picking, like buying uh, these sanitary napkins from a local store uh, near her house. She did this on her own with her own money. So that is the donation part of it. The she delivered these um, sanitary napkins on her own, creating this um, second part of our, the second pillar of our um, supply chain. She was the volunteer. She was the person who buyed these things, and finally the one to uh, supply it to the recipients and distribute it uh, to the local women, completing the whole supply chain and even justifying the whole um, scenario or the impact measurement of our projects. We did the same in Princeton done by Bobby, but yes, this is uh, the one that I'm showing here. For the checkpoint five, we started working on the coding part of it. We, uh, like Mona, me, and like um, the whole Firefly team, we started working on the on creating our own the giving chain blockchain. We wanted uh, it to save all the data in our in a backend server, and use Firefly to create the giving chain APIs that would connect the whole uh, giving chain blockchain to the user interface. Uh, we still have we have this demo running. Uh, it, you can find this in the givingchain.org. The demo is live. We have the code base in our GitHub. So if any one of you who wants to play with it, who want to build something up upon it, or even reverse engineer it to make something out of it, you all are free to do that. And uh, for the next steps, we are planning uh, to start in hackathon from October of this year. And it will go to the next year, because we are again planning on doing all of these technical checkpoints again. We, are, we need people who can write um, the coding part of the whole project again you are allowed to you know form teams either like build something upon the already code that we have you want to like tear it down to the bottom and then again like build something out of it again you're free to do that even if you don't want to use firefly you are free to use any of the solutions that that is with hyperledger or any other public blockchain we we need people from the technical uh, standpoint and Yes, this is a like in the middle. You can see the NFT created by the people who have been uh, like previously donated from the Princeton region. Uh, again, if you want to contact us, you can find me coming around these halls, or you, you can just pick me or go through our website. It's in contact us page. You just fill it out, and we will have your information, and you can join our calls. Also, we have our biweekly meetings as a learning material development working group. Uh, you can join that. Uh, I would be there, or Bobby would be there, or the Giving Chain also has its bi-weekly meetings. So you can join both of them, and I would be there. So thank you, and like I'm open for questions. So mm, yeah. Yes? So you mentioned the blo I mean, blockchain. There's a blockchain layer, and you say that any of the hyperledger blockchain projects could be used. Do you have a preference? Uh, the preference was uh, obviously for the Firefly because it, it is very flexible for us to use because we were only two people working on the whole project. So something that, that's very easy to set up and use. So that was a preference. We, we, we started with, uh, like in 2019, we started with Sawtooth. But the 
samples that were made in 2019 were deprived in 2021 so we can't use them anymore also they su suggested to talk to other projects and there was the firefly that we found and these guys were very helpful they were a, a gem to work with so yes if like we don't have any preferences uh, but you are like you guys are free to work with any public or private solutions that you have in your mind any more questions yes sir Uh, like we created this through the back back end so as soon as let's say if you are the volunteer who wants to pick up the donation from me so as soon as you will pick up the donation I will uh, check in that in that user interface this uh, like calls the API to transfer the NFT from my account to your account this all will be done at the back end so the people at, at the disasters won't have to make any accounts or anything like that they just have to use that interface it's very easy and just put a tick mark in that and it will send that NFT to you stating that you have ownership of the um, donation right now. Yes. Any other questions? Okay, that would be it for now. Thank you everyone.